Thomas and Friends story time. The story of Diesel the Diesel Engine. Starring Diesel and Duck the Great Western Engine. Based on the railway series by the Reverend W. Audrey. Created by Britt Allcroft. Read by Mark Moran. Welcome to the Island of Sodor. A small magical island surrounded by sparkling bright blue sea. It has fields of green and sandy yellow beaches, castles to explore and bustling docks where giant cranes lift and load cargo from large ships. There are also lots and lots of railway lines where engines work hard to deliver goods and passengers to their destinations. Today's story is about Diesel and the first time he came to work on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. Diesel is a small diesel-electric shunting engine. He doesn't run on coal and water like steam engines. Instead, he uses diesel fuel. He has six wheels and is painted black with red buffers. Diesel can be tricky and mischievous, especially when he's trying to prove diesels are better than steamies. He may not always be the nicest engine on Sodor, but Diesel would still like to be really useful. It was a breezy afternoon on the island of Sodor when a mysterious new engine purred smoothly into Knapford Station. No one on Sodor had ever seen an engine like him before. Sir Topham Hatt introduced a new engine to Duck, the Great Western Engine. Here is Diesel, said Sir Topham Hatt. I want to see how useful he can be on my railway. Duck, please show Diesel what to do. Duck thought every engine needed to learn how to do things properly. There are two ways of doing things, he told Diesel. The Great Western way or the wrong way. But Diesel was sure he had nothing to learn from an old steam engine like Duck. Duck and Diesel headed off to shunt cars. But soon Diesel began to show off. Sir Topham Hatt thinks I need to learn. But we Diesels don't need to learn. We already know everything, he boasted. We come to a yard and we make it better. Diesel and Duck arrived to find the yard full of cars, coaches and flatbeds. If you know everything, said Duck, Perhaps you would collect my cars while I fetch Gordon's coaches. Diesel was delighted to have a chance to show off. He didn't need Duck to tell him what to do. So before Duck could say another word, Diesel raced away to begin shunting cars. After lots of crashing and bashing, Diesel had collected Duck's cars. But the cars were not happy. They didn't like being bashed and bumped so roughly. They wished Duck had been there to show Diesel how to treat them. Next, Diesel found an untidy row of old empty cars in the corner of the yard. He didn't want to wait for Duck to tell him what to do, so he cobbled up to the cars. But the cars had not been used in a long time, and their wheels and brakes were rusty. Diesel tried to push the cars, but they were hard to move. <laughs> Diesel grumbled crossly, but the brakes on the old cars were stuck. Pull, push, backwards, forwards. Still the cars wouldn't move. We can't, we won't, the cars shouted. <laughs> Diesel growled even louder. He backed up and bashed the cars as hard as he could. Crash! The old cars clattered and shook and some of them fell off the tracks. Then Duck arrived and saw what had happened. What are you doing? Duck asked. You weren't supposed to shunt those cars. Diesel looked upset. Why didn't you tell me? He grumbled. I've spent all this time trying to move them. You should have waited for me to show you what to do, said Duck. Poor Diesel had to stay and help sort out the old cars and tidy the mess. He wished he'd listened to Duck and hadn't been such a show-off. So this time, Diesel made sure he asked Duck exactly what to do. 
and Duck was happy to show him. The next morning when Sir Topham Hatt saw how tidy the yard was, he did ask Diesel to stay and work on his railway. And although Diesel can still be tricky, he is a really useful engine. The end. Listen out for other adventures with Thomas and Friends Storytime. Thomas and Friends is a registered trademark of Ghislaine Thomas Limited.